Hey guys, me host Superstar, thank you very much for tuning in. It's New Year's Eve. I know, it's come around so fast. This year has flown by, which is insane. Another year indoors though. Mm. Getting a bit weird now, two years. Two years into this weird global thing and yeah, not enjoying it. But <laughs> the community has come together this year like no other, which is insane. Um, I was very lucky to be able to take part in HasCon with Hasbro, along with many other YouTubers and influencers and things like that. And it was a lot of fun. Hasbro even reached out to me this year and gave me the opportunity of, launch, of helping to launch an, uh, an action figure for the Marvel Legends line. Uh, obviously, Mastermind was the one that I got. It was that Wolverine big five pack thing and every every YouTuber on a different day had a different figure to reveal. It was so cool that week. I had such fun. So yeah, it's been a great year for me. Uh, the channel has has done really well this year and um, I'm really excited to see where, where we go next year. Uh, I've got big plans for, ne for next year. I've got some great uh, collabs. I've got some great opportunities and I'm just very excited to see where we go in 2022 and I hope you are too. So what I decided to do was reach out to some friends, some followers and some fellow contributors and uh, content makers and basically ask them what, what they're excited for for 2022 and also what was their toy of the year. As you guys saw, my toy of the year was definitely the Marvel Legends Zombie Captain America. That was just, it came, it, oh, it was just so good. I never thought we'd see Hasbro creating the Marvel Zombies line, which is insane. So, it was very cool to have that in the line this year. But, I wanted to know, like I say, what your guys' fa favourite toy was, or what thing you are most looking forward to in 2022. And I reached out to the people that I like to follow myself. So, here are a bunch of creators, uh, fellow vloggers, and people from the community that I have enjoyed what you're watching and speaking to over the past 12 months so check it out you know what i'm excited about for the year 2022 that's right spider-man number two or the toby mcguire marvel legends spider-man cannot wait for that figure i know hasbro's gonna do it come on give us that toby pow hello super sorrow as always my name is Dan W. And firstly, Happy New Year to you and yours. What a great year it's been for the collecting community. Now, you ask me what my favourite figure of 2021 is. And I uh, may be a little bit biased if you couldn't tell by this room <laughs> around me. Uh, but how can it not be this guy? It is, of course, the Sentinel now. I know that's cheating, but it is technically a figure that came out in 2021. So it had to be. This is at the top of the list. Of course, uh, what a crazy year. And next year is going to be an even better one as we'll be getting Galactus. But is that something I'm excited about? Yes, of course it is. But I do also want to mention uh, we are meant to be getting a Marvel Legends brand new comic version of the Iron Spidey, which I'm very excited about as next year is going to be the 60th anniversary of of spider-man so i'm hoping they do something great around that so we shall see but 2022 is probably going to be another hefty year for our wallets but another great one we are in the golden age of action figures so ash super sorrow my friends have a good new year in 2022 i am most excited for the obi-wan kenobi series it's going to be absolutely fantastic to have hayden christensen back in star wars and i'm also really excited for thor love and thunder um, that's what i'm most looking forward to in 2022 hello there gang this is david here from displaying moral behavior the earth's mightiest action figure video podcast and my hopes for next year I got a couple for you. First of all, for Marvel Legends, I really, really hope, very personal for me, that we get some more Clone Saga type figures. They've just done the retro Ben Riley. Ah, love that. But now I want 90s Jackal. I want Kane. I want Spider Side, Judas Traveler, Stunner, White Suit Doc Ock. Give me more 90s Spider Man goodness. And my other hope for next year is for Model Behavior, the channel, to completely dominate the YouTube airwaves. Not just get my own little piece of the pie, but to actually run all other YouTubers out of business so that no one dare even attempt to ever start another action figure channel again. All the pre-existing ones are going to crumble beneath the might of displaying Model Behavior. I will drive them from the YouTube landscape and hear the lamentations of their women. So have a good New Year's, Ash. Thanks very much for having me on the show. Best of luck for 2022. And until next time.
keep displaying model behaviour. Hi Super, Hi, Super Sorrel, Sorrel. Dino and Finley here, wishing you a Happy New Year and all your viewers, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, next year, we're looking forward to lots and lots of great content on your channel. And also, I'm personally looking forward to NECA's release of the new Robocop figure, the Elvira figure, and also the, the new Doc Brown that's coming out. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Aaron here from Empire Toys 1138. Ash has asked me to go through my favourite toy of 2021. And I have to say, there is so many to pick from. Hasbro is probably where I'm collecting modern stuff at the moment. And they've been knocking it out of the park with their Lightning Collection and their Black Series. Now, for the most part of the year, my favourite toy would have probably been the Deluxe Mandalorian here. Uh, with Grogu, with the removable head. That would have been a strong contender up until Christmas Day. Because my wonderful girlfriend, the Girl Strikes Back, got me the Hot Toy version. So I cannot wait to get this bad boy opened and uh, on display somewhere around here. So Vic, thank you very much for getting me that for Christmas. This is my number one toy of the year. Thank you very much, guys. Ash, dude, appreciate you asking me to come on here. Peace. Hey Super Sorrel, it's uh, Henry Calvert here from TikTok. I've been a big fan of your channel for a while, man. Uh, as you know, actually, I've actually got to meet you at York Convention a couple of years ago, I think. Um, but yeah, 2022, what am I excited for? What am I going to get collecting? Well, uh, I'm a big comic guy, so I think I'm looking to expand my Daredevil comics this year. Daredevil's been one of my favourites for, for ages, and I've been reading loads on Marvel Unlimited, but I want to get some actual comics of him um and yeah hopefully maybe dabble in some of the marvel legends stuff i really want to get a daredevil marvel legends figure uh so yeah um hope you have an awesome new year buddy hope you had a great christmas uh hopefully see you soon man what is up super surreal um thanks very much for including me jacob uh, jacob's toys over here um, obviously 2021 has been a brilliant year, really enjoyed doing the Geek Week in review with yourself, looking forward to taking that into 2022. Um, my favourite collectible of the year obviously has to go to this big guy here, the HasLab Sentinel. Um, it's just a lot of fun, you know, the whole uh, watching the project kind of develop. Uh, obviously when it came into the UK's uh, UK market as well, and we obviously got an opportunity to back it. Um, and actually getting it in hand and, and having a look at all those cool features and just sort of seeing what the HasLab can really uh, the potential the HasLab really has. So that is definitely my favourite collectible of 2021. And um, what am I most looking forward to in 2022? I think it has to be Spider-Man. You know I'm a massive Spider-Man guy. And knowing it, uh, it's the 20th anniversary of obviously the Sam Raimi films um, and that first Tobey Maguire film, really looking forward to see what Hasbro Marvel Legends uh, potentially do with that. Um, or No Way Home, you know, what else there is to come from that. I think with Spider-Man, it's going to be a big year, 2022. Uh, so fingers crossed for that. So yeah, 2021 has been a good year. I've really enjoyed it. It's been a great year for Marvel Legends. Um, and obviously I'm a big Marvel Legends fan myself. Cannot wait to see what they do in 2022. So uh, to yourself and all your followers, um, Happy New Year. And I will catch you in 2022. As a big Star Wars and Marvel fan and as an action figure collector, I think I'm looking forward to the new content in 2022 uh, and, of course, the figures that, that may come from that. I think there's plenty of options um, for Hasbro to do from Spider-Man, No Way Home, um, as well as seeing what else we get from Doctor Strange. We've then got Thor and, of course, Wakanda Forever at the back end of 2022. And I think Star Wars this year is going to be heavily influenced by the Book of Boba Fett. Very exciting, a lot of new characters and potentially some old ones as well. Um, and we'll start to see, I think as well, the build for the Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary, which which will start to get exciting as well. Um, so yeah, for me, definitely the films, definitely the, uh, the TV series. And of course, hopefully getting back to some sort of normality and maybe getting out there to some cons and some, some local conventions next year as well. Happy New Year from New Zealand in Darth Rock. Keep up the good work, Super Serial. Here's to 2022, and keep on collecting, everybody. What's up? This is Paul from Power of X-Men, and my favorite toy this year was the Haslap Sentinel. And for 2022, I cannot wait for the Marvel Legends Maggot and the Mafex Jean Grey.
Hey, Super Terrell, it's Ryan Speaks Geek. Ooh, let's have a think. Top figure for this year. Next 17 Z Fantmon, vintage style. Never saw it coming. Didn't think it'd ever exist, and it, here it is in my hands. Uh, that's pretty hard to top this year for me. Been so many good things, but this is the one that really stood out for me. But what am I looking forward to next year? Wow. Uh, do you know, along the same lines, Hasbro's uh, Mandalorian Retro Wave 2. If I had to pick down to one figure out of that, it would be the Death Trooper. Vintage style Death Trooper. Who would have thought I'd be getting a brand new vintage style Death Trooper next year? Not me, so super excited about that one. Back to you. Am I connected? Am I connected, Bob? Uh, yes, Snacious. You are now connected to Super Sorrel via Monkey Lizard Telecom. Thanks, Bob. Well, Super Sorrel, you could, you're a good friend of mine. And when you ask Salacious Rum, the leader of the Monkey Lizard Army, if he wanted to be involved in your video, the top toys of 2021, of course I had to say yes. Yes, yes, yes. So then, without further ado, I, Salacious Rum, leader, of the Monkey Lizard Army, do hereby select as my number one toy of 2021. Salacious Binks. <laughs> here he is. Here he is. Here he is. It's my custom, my custom Black Series figure made by my good friend Vern. At Oakhurst Studios. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Look at him! He's a custom six inch Black Series figure, formerly a Jar Jar Binks, now lovingly recreated and repurposed into the ultimate fighting machine. He is now a seven foot tall, half Gungan, half Kowakian monkey lizard. And he has been trained in the in the he's been trained with the Empire. He's been trained with the deadly arts in the deadly assassination arts. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. He's definitely the best figure I've got ever. Not just for 2021. He's my favourite figure. So I wanna thank uh Vern at Oka Studios for making him for me. And I submit him as my choice for number one toy of 2021. <laughs> now then, you also asked, what would we like in 2022? You might ask that question. My answer is... We want that carded Slacious Crumb that was supposed to come with the Rancor. Where is it? We want it. We need it. We want it now. It needs to happen. Hasbro, what are you doing? Sort me out with the Crumb card, please. Sort me out. Crumb card. Hashtag Crumb card. Hashtag Crumb card. <laughs> there you go. That's the end of my video. Goodbye, Super Sorrel. Goodbye to my fans and the Monkey Lizard Army. Goodbye. Remember, Monkey Lizards are for life, not for spit roasting. Goodbye. Hey, Super Sorrel, it's the scruffy looking nerf order. How's it going, buddy? I uh, want to wish you and your family a happy new year. And uh, what would I like for 2022? Well, as a massive Star Wars nerd, I'm hoping that the Book of Boba Fett carries on as well as it started. Loving the series so far, and I'm hoping it just gets better and better each week. And we get lots more action figures that come out of that. That would be uh, my perfect wish. Um, I'm hoping I get to go to more conventions last year. I only went to one, and... Um, it, the world obviously went a bit crazy last couple of years, so I'm hoping that it all goes a bit more back to normal. I can go to a few more events. Also, a massive star, uh, Nerf fan, so I'm hoping I get to go to a few Nerf events as well. Um, I've really started making a lot of videos on YouTube, so I'm hoping I get to do some collaborations with uh, maybe Super Sorrel, if I'm really lucky, and some other great uh, content makers out there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, enjoy Ash's video, uh, and a Happy New Year to everybody. Take care. Bye! Hey guys, this is Jared, or Sir Dork here. Um, 
2021 was a pretty gosh darn stinking great year. So many great things happened. So many great figures. So many great toy photos. 2022 will also be awesome. I'm really excited for Toy Photography Con. Toys in Action coming up in June. Um, geez, it's going to be so cool just meeting people and having this whole entire event just for toy photographers. So I'm really excited. Hopefully I get to see as many of you guys there as I possibly can. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for me. Am I supposed to say Happy New Year? Do you hate it when people say Happy New Year's? <laughs> Did you turn the camera on already? Hey, what's up, Super Sorrel? And Happy New Year, everybody. So I'm going to go over two things. First, the two things that I picked up in 2021 that I was most excited about. And the first thing was nostalgic for me. It was my Jabba the Hutt playset. I used to have it when I was six years old. I don't know what happened to it. But this summer, I had a chance to pick one up. And when I was unboxing it, I was basically a six-year-old kid again. The second one was more of a Kenner historical artifact and it was my graded blue snaggletooth and the reason why I'm so stoked on it first off it was an error it was supposed to be the red snaggletooth and there was only two ways you could have gotten it in the Sears exclusive cantina set or as a Sears mail-in and you got him with Greedo and the two things that I want to accomplish in 2022 is picking up two of my grails and one of them has been really elusive to me and that's the vinyl cape Jawa now I really want to pick up a graded one just to make sure I get an authentic one. And the number two thing isn't even vintage, but it's still my grail. It's the Ahsoka Tano TVC number 102. And yeah, that is my modern grail. Now, I wanna pick one upgraded, but if I can find one in great condition carded, I'm gonna pick that sucker up. So Super Sorrel, happy new year to you and to all your viewers out there. Thanks for inviting me on. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan. I'll see you later, guys. Thanks a lot. Hello Super Sarah, hello everyone. I hope you all had a really good Christmas and you have a very good new year. Oh, it's so many things I'm looking forward to in 2022. Uh, I'm actually trying to downsize my collection because I am running out of space, but oh well. Uh, I'm hoping for two things to be released. One is I'm a really big uh, necker back to the future uh, collector so I love these ultimate figures it is really cool uh, so I'm hoping they're gonna release uh, back to the future 3 uh, in their Western outfit figures as well and the other thing I'm hoping is a Marvel Legends for the new Spider-Man movie No Way Home I know they released uh, a few already but I'm just hoping they're gonna release a few more a few more uh, so yeah thank you so much for having me and take care everyone bye hi guys this is uk pop collector and what a year it's been it's coming to an end now and so i just wanted to do a mini tour just to highlight exactly where we're up to um those of you who follow me on my social media will know that the the cave is wrapping up soon um we're going to be building a new cave next year um february onwards for a couple of months so um, I'll still be collecting and I'll still be posting my what I'm picking up, um, albeit the, the room as it stands right now will be being um, decommissioned um, and all boxed up. And then in um, hopefully a couple of months after Feb, um, we'll, um, we'll be able to start setting up again. But I'll document the process as I go along. But anyway, 2021, what a year it's been for figures, for pops, for statues, for hot toys. And I just wanted to do a quick whistle stop tour of the room and then just focus in on a couple of key pieces that I've collected over the year um, that I've really enjoyed. So with no further ado, I'll spin the camera around. We will have a little look. So the main pop wall. I'm seeing a little 10 inch uh, Michael Myers, bloody exclusive he's been really cool it's been a lot of horror pops whether it's just been my focus has been a little bit more on horror but we've had the Candyman chase always wanted a Candyman pop it's a shame it's the um it's the newer version rather than the classic and uh, tony todd version but we'll take it um on a from a figure point of view so so toys and the butcher uh, amazing figure absolutely amazing figure one six scale tons of accessories absolutely love him Um, I've got mad love for the art series pops, specifically the Batman. I do love my Batman, as you can see. But yeah, the art series, I do love them. Hopefully they'll bring out at least another two 
just so it satisfies my OCD of having a complete shelf. The Chase 10 inch Superman, which uh, for those of you again who follow my social media will know that I ranked that as my pop of the year for 2021. Um, I was lucky enough to pick that up from, um, from EMP, so again, big shout out to them. What else have we got? Uh, oh, Kong and Godzilla 10 inch. The Godzilla, the detail on the Godzilla is amazing. Look at those scales, the fins. Or the plates, whatever they're called. Great pop. Uh, they're moving kind of into NECA. These have certainly got to be a highlight. They're certainly a highlight for me. So it's the, the Nightmare Demon. Nightmare Demon set. It's it's technically one figure, but with all interchangeable um, interchangeable heads. Um, and then you've got the Kessler Wolf there as well, which is just amazing. Uh, you've got a nice little McCready at the back there from Thing. Yep, if you can focus, he's not focusing. Come on, there he is. Um, and I think they've leaked some more... Um, some more thing figures, um, which will be really cool. We had a Jason from Friday Part Seven. He again made it into my top figures of the year. So many cool figures, and then Spawn. And Spawn appeared this year as well. So Cowboy Spawn. And the Violator both made my top figure list. The Clown could have done too as well. He looks amazing. Mandalorian. Love my Mandalorian. Can't wait to have a, a bigger setup of Mandalorian. Uh, lots of McFarlane. Really loved McFarlane this year. And again, my figure, my actual figure of the year was the Builder figure King Shark. Um, just something about the character I absolutely love. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of McFarlane. Marvel. I'll be, I'll be honest with you, there's not been a massive amount of Marvel that, that's kind of crept through into my collection this year. Um, obviously you've had the, the gantry, the suit of gantry pop, which is really cool. Uh, and then you've had the, the Morgan and Tony holograph moment, which again, really cool. Um... But yeah, I've not really gone large on the um, the TV shows, the Lo the Loki and the One Division. Um, when they I get more space, maybe um, these again were a prize pick up this year. Iron Studios uh, Black Order, the one tenth scale polystone statues. They are amazing. Um, and then up here is the Pop Toys Last Samurai set, which I was able to complete this year as well. So I'm really pleased with them. And again, I can't wait for um, a bigger space and a better space to be able to display them. And then just little shout outs to Marvel Zombies, which I cannot wait for the film to come out now that they've announced it. Um, oh, we've got a little 20 year old Spawn statue here. It's got a little bit of fading on it, but... And then we got some more art series Freddy's. So it's been a fantastic year. Um, I've had a great year collecting and I hope else has. And I will see you all on the other side. Take care guys. Speak soon. Thank you to everyone that contributed a clip for this video. I really appreciate it. Guys, I hope you're excited for 2022. I know uh, a lot of my fellow followers and contributors are. It's, oh, it's just so much fun. I've really enjoyed doing the Geek Week in review. I'm looking to see where we can go with that in the new year. Really looking forward to maybe collabing with the people that, that you just saw in that video. And just thank you to each and every single one of you that has followed this channel this year and has supported me through this weird sex section of life, should we say? <laughs> Luckily, hopefully, we'll get outdoors. We'll we'll get to Florida this ne this next year. We'll we'll get to Galaxy's Edge finally, and hopefully, we'll get to more conventions and toy fairs. But who knows, guys? Thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host Soup. So I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in 2022, and may the force be with you.